morning guys um, packing up for a quick road trip and uh, just wanted to do a quick um, quick review I guess of this uh, set power AJ 30 um, tons of videos online um, there's the power or the, the controls this thing is a freezer um, it will go down to uh, really low temperatures it will freeze I've already frozen a bottle of water just testing it out um, there's a max cool and then like an economy mode and eco mode really awesome for what I'm about to show you what I'm doing with it so we go on road trips ice just doesn't melt it's uh, 100 plus degrees sometimes uh, in the back of this truck uh, in the middle of you know South Texas South Louisiana South Mississippi heat um, this is also something I can put in the back of my Jeep. We go camping. Uh, what I've done, it comes with the cables. It comes with this cable that is a like a cigarette lighter plug. And it also comes with an AC, um, an AC wall, basically a wall plug with the cigarette lighter thing in it. Um, but then I went and bought uh, this cable here. It's got gator clamps on it, clamps to my uh, kayak battery and then I just plug it into that I've tested this it ran um, with uh, with that battery on full charge it ran for 18 hours in eco mode which is far and you know far beyond what I needed to run uh, for this you know eight hour trips 10 hours max right so <clears throat> plenty of power to run in eco mode keep the food cold you know, no slosh, no ice. You know, I got Cool Whip in here. Um, it's got this little compartment in the front. I'm still, I'm still trying it out. It's got this little compartment in the front. Um, it's got. It comes with this rack to kind of keep your food separate. Oop, sorry. It comes with this rack to keep your food separated, and you can actually pull that rack out. And everything's organized. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, for now, I'm just putting the AC thing back in it. Um, I think, is that a good idea? Maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna do it for now. Anyway, um, it's got a, a latching lid, like it locks. The only thing I don't like about it, like the size is good, um, for what I need. The only thing I don't like about it is the handles rotate. I don't know if you see that. It's hard to tell, but, but these handles rotate. You have to put these handles on, um, I'm really thinking about running a screw through one side or the other just to lock this in place. I don't really like it uh, moving. I could see if that was heavy and my wife or somebody, you know, not having a good grip on it could possibly um, mess it up. Uh, it's got a cooling area on the side over here. You can tell that there's light heat coming out. Uh, there's a fuse where that plugs in. Uh, what else to say? Pretty simple, you turn it on and off with this. Um, max and eco mode. There's also some settings you can go in and uh, like uh, set the therm thermostat, you know, um, what I'm saying, calibrate the thermostat. Um, then just up and down. I mean, it's as simple as it gets, honestly. Um, I'll leave this on eco because I know it lasts a long time on my little uh, 35 amp hour battery. That battery is not very big at all. But the fact that it takes care of this um, is perfect for me. Um, what else can I say? So, batteries in there. It's really snug. This is a um, 2016 Ram Eco Diesel Laramie. So, it's, you know, full size width bed. Um, and I got another cooler that I just put the drinks in over here. And yeah, works perfect. So, set power AJ30. Later, guys. All right. One last thing. We just finished our. Uh, I made the beginning of this video before we left, and I wanted to follow up with how things worked. Um, just made a about a nine-hour trip with it running on this 35 amp-hour battery um, in eco mode. You can see it's 33 degrees, which is what I've got it set on. So it's held its temperature. An eco 
uh, give you an idea of what's in here. Um, I got cheese in there, whipped cream, drinks. Um, we bought some some sausage that is only available in the area where we were. It's amazing. Kaneka. If you don't know what Kaneka is, there it is. Look for that brand. It's the best sausage ever made. Um, but yeah, we kept our. I carried the other cooler as well. But um, just kept drinks in it, not food and some ice blocks, right? That stuff doesn't have to be, if it melts, it melts. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, what I did do while we were there, I bought a smaller trickle charger right there. Ever start, a little $20 trickle charger. Um, and while we were where we went, um, I actually uh, let it trickle charge. So, and to show you what else I had there, I purchased this alligator clip to a uh, 12 volt socket and just used the adapter to come with it and plug that into it. And that's it. Um, nothing special. I'll probably put the, uh, the plug. Oh. I'll probably put the plugs that plug into the east on the end of this. So it'll be a direct connect. But um, yeah, it did great. This thing has been running the entire time. Even when we got to where we were going, I plugged it into uh, shore power to a regular socket uh, inside the condo we were staying in and just left our food in it and just used this. Kept it going, kept it cool the whole time. Um, kept it on 33 32 degrees it kept drinks cold um i don't know what to say about it we've been gone for five days it has not shut off for five five days except for when i unplugged it from the wall to plug it back into this to come home so, it's been running great i haven't noticed any you know excessive heat i mean it's it's kind of warm on the side here but crap it's been running for five days um I give it a five star of my expectations, what I needed it for. Uh, it definitely did good. I did notice, you know, some condensation, some sweat, because this is really cold. It's breathing right here, right? Hot air coming out. Um, it's uh, as abrasive as any other cooler, I guess you could say. Um, I think I know, mentioned it before, but I hate that these roll, these handles. All in all, that's pretty great. Uh, it was a good purchase in my book. This will be great in the back of the Jeep, along with uh, a few other items to do some um, beach camping or whatever using rooftop tent. So stay tuned.